Hello everyone, it's LocoForce here, and I have got a box, and a weirdly long box, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. Uh, so, I guess we should take a look inside, in this episode of Mega Junction. Okay, so here are the boxes. Um, there's this really long one, which I did open briefly, just to see what's inside, because I was really confused when this sewed up. Um, so this might be quite hard to record, because I don't know where my trap is, but look. So, I'll go grab what's in there. Um, yeah, let's just quickly do that. Alright, so in the first box, we have a roll of cork. Cork, cork sheeting which I'm hoping is going to be enough, it is a small layout, but uh, I'll start putting this down in probably the next update or the update after this one depends on what happens uh, when it comes down to editing what's going on here so yeah, got a roll of cork in the first box bubbles so that's pretty cool and as you can see we have a dapple engine but first I'll take out this other stuff okay so we've got two bags of Hornby ballast which I'm gonna mix together and it ballast which I'm just gonna mix together and hope it looks all right I'm, again I'm not going for anything totally prototypical but I have got some ballast which I doubt this is going to be enough but I guess we'll have to wait and find out Next we've got this small bag which contains some tarmac which I'm going to be using for my car park for the uh, depot or wagon storage, whatever it's going to be called. Um, now this doesn't look like the highest quality stuff, it was only £2 so hopefully I'll, be able to make it, hopefully I'll be able to make that look a little bit nicer. And finally we have a Dapol class 121 slash 122 rail car. Alright, so as you can see here, that old class 121, so I guess we should just get this open, but I'm going to do a proper review of this as well. So there's the owner's guide. And there's some felt. Whoa. Is it going to want to come out? Well, here it is. I'll get this out in just a minute. I must say it does look really really good. Um, I'll either do a meet the fleet video or a review um, of this later on. Um, but I just wanted to get it out of the box so I can have a look at it and it is one two one is it one? I don't actually know if this is one two one or one two two. Um, but it is fifty five zero three two and it says T132 just on the front there and this has got a Welsh emblem um, so in my little freelance world uh, the company Valley Lines um, bought or hired a 121 and just decided to keep it in its BR Valley Lines paint scheme um, now this does technically fit into my era as it is but um, I don't know anything about this. I know that Arriva Wales had a 121, 
So I think for this, this is going to be owned by Valley Lines and they repainted it into its BR scheme instead of their own paint scheme for heritage reasons or something because this was like the only engine they had and it was specifically used for the branch to Mega Junction. And then eventually this was when the franchises became merged to become Arriva Trains Wales um, it was then repainted into a Arriva paint scheme which I know there is also a model of but this does look really good. Um, I'm going to try and set up the layout, see if I can actually run it, but there is a problem in that I don't even know if the controller I have works. So this might just be sitting around doing nothing for a while. As I suspected, uh, either the controller or the power source doesn't actually work. Now there is some somewhat dodgy wiring on this and it's all a bit busted. So I think I'm going to need a new one of these. But I don't really know where to get one from so I'm going to have a look on eBay and see if I can find one. Um, and then hopefully we can actually get that thing up there running. Okay guys, so, so far we've, well, we've got a mail call. Um, I still need to, I need to put the layout back together, but we found out that the uh, controller or the transformer needs replacing. So I'm going to get on that and uh, let's see what else I get up to in the time being. So I'll be back you guys in just a second. just change the track plan <laughs> um, so I've switched it so the trains come from that side rather than that side so that's where our tunnel port will be obviously it's not permanent but I thought before I actually get anything down I might want to try out a few different track plans and again I don't have any um I don't have a controller yet but I have looked around and get about 20 quid so once I've got that that's when we'll start properly getting down cork and stuff um, so I've changed it around mainly so that the, all of the points were on the board rather than one hanging off the end here and I think it has turned out alright, it is very boring, it's very simple but at the end of the day that is what this is so it gives us either two tracks for wagon and loco storage or three tracks depending on what happens here um, so yeah um, station still at the back as it was, I'm not using this one um, and I will make probably one out of wood, I imagine. Um, car park will now go here, so this station will have the car park rather than the depot. Um, and I don't really know where the green is going to go, probably down the middle here. And on the borders of the track, and I'm also going to get some chain link fence to go around the depot area. So yeah, that's about all for now guys. Thanks so much for watching, everyone stay safe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.